Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains will it be enough to save the world? Train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard's, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! Oh. 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 Ow! 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 Oh. Hide! Oh. Great! More gas! The mine carts! Do something about the gas! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but, but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow! Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs> Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration. 
where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the Command Block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Elega, but I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message, please? No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. <laughs> Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. No idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, it's huge! It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here. And you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Redstone repeater, that's just what I need. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco.
Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Uh, A perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Elagard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Well, I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? Hey, I'm not gonna get involved here. Well, don't believe a word he tells you. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Elagard's protege. I told him I wouldn't tell you this, but he thinks you lack creativity. That you're not inventive. Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good, dirty, ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call it. Oh no, my machine! Oh my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! A lever. I wonder what it does. Hello! Why, hey there! I'm Sandy, and what you see before you is the future. The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. Flying machine, huh? Does it actually... You better believe it, but uh, only straight up for now. Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then. I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Huh, yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. I'm lying. I'm totally terrified of them. And yet you wanna fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! So high! Going so very high! Sorry! Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. Nothing. Oh, Worth a man. shot, I guess. This view is spectacular. Did Sandy just take off? Huh. I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. 
Oh, you didn't. She's the one with the dream of flying. And the one with the paralyzing fear of heights. Well, I think it's what she wanted. Anyway... Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that. Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. I'd really love it if you did something about that. I'll see what I can do. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed! Be astounded! Hey, that farmer over there sent me. The one with all the sugar cane? Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. No, never mind. None of my business anyway. Mm, fair enough. And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a-flying. Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. Hey. Have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. So Eligard's trying to make a command block in there? I know. I heard that too. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's no way we misheard her, right? I sure don't like the sound of that. You saw what happened when Ivor tried to use a command block? Yeah, no kidding. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Wow, 
Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Huh. Simple, but effective. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. Those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? Uh, Olivia, can you hear me? 
I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. Well, that seems a little unfair to blame Olivia. It's not her fault that she was so excited. How in the world did she get this assistant position in the first place? Well, that's the... Th we're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date, a powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, he gave it to me so that I could find the Order. Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to, who is me? If you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
terribly exciting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never! Is it destabilizing? Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Ah. Oh, who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, hey, we're back. I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. 
Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were going to be here. That makes two of us, then. But reverse, for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean. Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Hey, hey, yes, it's scary, but it's nothing we can't handle, all right? We're gonna do this. Okay, how? Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. This thing sounds in impossible. How could it even exist? Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether or the end. But, it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm alright. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on... How does Petra seem to you? Not great, I guess. But she has been through a lot. Yeah. But you saved her. You did an amazing thing, Jesse. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. How are you, Petra? Fine. Are you okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm... Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm alright. I 
can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. Let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super tea. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Oh, that's not good. That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse, and far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan, but fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome, or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it, or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh, and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it. I do have that effect on people sometimes. I don't know, I just wanted to go with Olivia instead, I guess. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I guess that's fair. Sort of. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. Man, 
time is daytime. How far is Zorin? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. thought so too. That was way too close. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Whoa! Look! What is that? Enderman. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. No kidding. It's like an Enderman party. Come on. We should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. This architecture, it's incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Oh, be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look Man, at- that's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this Super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. doesn't look so good. Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? Hey, Jesse? Yeah? It's Petra. She... I don't know. Doesn't seem right. I tried asking, but she... Well, maybe she'll talk to you? If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Soren the Builder, 
Magnus the Rogue, Eligard the Engineer, Gabriel the Warrior. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's split up. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? too long after you saved me. What happened? The wither made you sick? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course. We've been... No, Jesse. Just wither. Or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <gasps> ah! Creeper! <laughs> Grab my hand, I'll pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. Must have something useful in here. He has to. Hey, show yourself. Who's there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. 
I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Fine. Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah, foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. I'm not letting him leave either. Good. Who can stop the wither storm? Not you, not the order. Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going anywhere. This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind! Wait, Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did it. False. You have stopped nothing. query have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? <laughs> Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken. Cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain. As the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell.